Good evening, everyone. Life, as we know, has so many different metaphors. Today, people have so many altered versions of life, how they see it, how they think about it. But personally, my favorite, and the most apt one, I probably believe, is comparing life to a boxing arena. Life is our opponent, and we are in this arena, which represents all the opportunities that we have to make an impact and leave a mark on this world. Um, now, as we know it, like every other game, life is not going to make it easy for us because no opponent makes it easy for us. And especially in the game of life, we tend to get punched and bruised quite often. I'm pretty sure all of you know that. So that's why I believe that it is really important to be well trained before stepping into any arena, be it an actual one or a metaphorical one. It is really important and it must be made sure that you are prepared and you know what you're doing and what you're getting into. For me, that training came to me in the form of life at boarding school. For four years of my high school, from 9th to 12th, I attended Mayor College a boarding institution located in a small town, Ajmer, which is located in Rajasthan, a very culturally rich state of India. Now the change from living in Dubai to living in a small town like Ajmer, living in boarding school away from my parents was drastic. It was, like, it was enormous. I like, never experienced that kind of change ever in my life. But that boarding school choose, making that decision is the very reason I'm able to, I've been able to achieve and be where I am today. Uh, I'm going to talk about three main things. Uh, firstly, my life in Dubai. Then it's uh, my life at boarding school. And how my life at boarding school impacted on me as an individual and my personality. Now, I was only two months old when my parents and me shifted to Dubai, the greener pasture. Now, life there was, well, you know, as it is in Dubai, very luxurious and very relaxed. Like, the rare combination of efficiency and luxury that you get in Dubai, I personally have never found it anywhere else. Now, uh, there's an old saying that goes, if you think money can't buy you happiness, you've never been to Dubai. And I know as cocky as that sounds, that's the reality of Dubai. Life there, like uh, my daily life, I never really had to worry about my daily chores. That was like cleaning my room, cleaning, doing the laundry, doing my own laundry. Believe me, these are very menial tasks, but I never did them on my own. We had a nanny at a place. She used to do everything from morning till evening. Like I used to literally wake up in the morning, leave my house, everything was dirty, scattered and then come back in the evening, it was like magic. Everything was spick and span. Everything was at its place. The food was ready. So life, like that kind of, that's one of the things that made life very easy there. Then obviously, like uh, before I was attended boarding school, eight years of my elementary and middle school, I did there. And surprisingly, my mom was a teacher in the very same school I was attending. So whenever it came to school opportunities, taking part in school events, taking part, like, uh, performing. I, like, I was never the one who approached the teachers or who approached the right people. It was always my mom. She would talk to them for me and like, get me to do it because I, I really was very shy, I'll be honest. I could not talk to anyone back then. So uh, I never really had the chance to learn communication, to communicate with different people. So that, that was not there. So that's why, again, that kind of made life like more on the relaxed side and never really taking things seriously. And then there's again, the people, like people are very easily approachable there, like people of my age. It's just a matter of saying, hi, how are you? And you could start a conversation. So my basic point here is, there was ne never really any challenge for me. Like as much as I loved life in Dubai, I really loved it. But at the same time, it was not challenging. There was no challenge and I needed, and deep down, I'm pretty sure we all know that life without any challenges is a boring life. It's not worth. Anyway, so uh, I wanted something that would push me and which is why at the age of 13, the idea of going to boarding school first came up. My mom was the one who introduced the idea to me. She herself was a boarding school student. So she was like, in her college days, she went, uh, she stayed away from her parents. So 
she wanted me to experience that kind of life she wanted me to see how that life was and uh, like everybody else i was really skeptical because i had never really being in dubai the thought of living away from my parents it, it never came to me i'm pretty sure it never comes to us like quite often that kind of thought so that really scared me it was a really scary thought and doing that actually having that conversation scared me even more but my parents sat down and convinced me and they started talking to me and they started telling me that the, the advantages of going to boarding school and they started doing some research of my own and then i started looking at different boarding schools how life is different there and i finally stopped at mayo college uh mayo college was recommended to me by a friend of uh, my mom's a family friend who himself was an alumni there so finally at the age of 14 in the year 2011 11 in the month of april i decided to go to boarding school um the moment i stepped inside the school grounds like a boarding school basically is like a school in back in india it's a school where you're confined within the walls of the campus you cannot leave the campus without the permission of either your house master or someone like the principal or the vice principal or the dean you cannot leave the campus basically so like it made things tough it made it made things quite constrained when i came to boarding school firstly the amount of changes the flood of changes just hit me at once and i had like i literally had to make time to adjust to all of those changes i had no time to think i had only time to make time to adjust to those changes like there was a constant waking up in the morning by the bell then there was going to the then there was finding the right socks finding the right shoes finding the right dress to wear because every moment of the day you had to wear something different there was a school dress you had to wear and then there was the 4 km long walk to school from my house because like back in dubai after 50 me- walking 50 meters i would complain about getting a taxi ride but there i had no option i literally had to walk 4 km to school but all of these changes were there yes like the only at the first month especially the only two good things would be either looking for looking forward to the teacher being absent due to some illness because then you would get a free period or maybe due to bad weather school being canceled you enjoy the rest of the day off so yes we had a lot of challenges and then there was obviously the challenge of opportunities because back in dubai my mom was there she could do it for me but here i was away from my parents like literally i guess probably about 7 800 miles away and i could never like i couldn't do, i had to do it on my own i had to learn to approach people differently talk to people learn to communicate learn to be able to uh, make my voice heard make myself heard among the crowd there because it was a different kind of crowd it was a crowd i never dealt with every day so i had to learn then i had to learn to be more independent i had to learn to do everything on my own do my daily chores do like take care of myself take be more organized boarding school one of the most important things it made me learn is to be organized then um talking there talking to people like uh, making friends was was quite hard there because for them people are already f- like their students already form their own groups they already f- like and for them getting a new guy in is also out of their comfort zone so them talking to people also was like a really challenging task and i had to make myself heard and develop my confidence and be like no i am part of this family too and now you must accept me f- you have to accept me for who i am because i can like i can give something to this group i can give something that no one else can which is what i had to show that's how it was then um okay now let's talking about that um the most important things that i learned from boarding school the three most important qualities that boarding school ever taught me was independence freedom and self reliance independence because i learned to do everything on my own i learned to be more uh, i learned to uh, be more organized i learned to do my daily chores i learned to be grab opportunities as they came learn to talk to people learn how the system works so that i can approach people differently so i developed like i was able to become more independent as a result freedom because like uh, i would say freedom in the sense that freedom to make my voice heard like i was free to express myself now I, before i was i always contained my feelings back in dubai like whenever i felt angry or i didn't i didn't like something i would never say it because 
well, you know, I just thought maybe like, what's the point? But now that taught me to be more expressive, taught me to reveal my feelings better in a more communicative way so that the other person also understands my point of view. And at the same time, we are at a, still at a, the right place, still at the same page. Then there was self-reliance. I learned to rely on myself and trust my instincts, trust who I am as a person and I know what I'm doing is right. And that whatever decision I've made today is definitely the right decision. Because uh, I was never a decision maker as also. So like here when I came, I had to learn to do that on my own. I had to learn to figure out, oh, what am I going to do right now? Like, this is what I'm going to do. That's what I had to learn to figure out, which believe me, for me was quite a challenging task. Um, yeah, uh, I finally like, uh, I would like to say that, um, yes, boarding school, we had a lot of challenges. We had a lot to face and I, there were times when I was let down, when I questioned what am, what I, what am I doing? Is it the right thing to do? Am I doing the right, am I, uh, did I make the right decision by coming to boarding school? There were a lot of times when I questioned that. But during those times, there was one quote that always came to my mind, which is said by in one of India's most famous athletes, Milka Singh. The quote says that hard work, perseverance, and self-determination. With these three qualities, sky's the limit, which is true. I, everybody here, I'm pretty sure, knows that. That with, when you put enough effort, when you put in your hard work, when you are willing to do that, when you have the perseverance to put in that effort, and at the same time, when you are determined, when you are self-determined, you have your self-confidence that, yes, I can do it no matter what stands in my way. Then you will be able to do it. Then there is a more, it increases your odds tenfold of actually accomplishing that task. So I always used to keep this quote in mind whenever I fell down. At the same time, uh, yes, the main, the uh, friends I made there, the friends I made at my uh, boarding school, they were, they are everlasting because these, like, they were like a family that I thought I would never have. Once I was able to communicate and connect with them, it was like we, we, we became a family, like it was a family outside my family because I know I can rely on them whenever I want. I know whenever I need help, they will be there and they will, I just need to call them. It's just one phone call away. Until this day, we still talk to each other every single day. We do not miss that opportunity of not talking to each other. In the end, uh, my main point of this topic was, yes, obviously to tell you about boarding school life and how different it was from my life back in Dubai. But what I want you to gain from this is that Everybody here needs to find that training tool or that training element that will get them ready for pre prepared for any battle, any sort of war they have to face, be it metaphorical, be it actual. That's not the point, but they have to find that training uh, tool, that training tool, that training skills that will get them there, that will make them move farther in life and grow in life. In the end, I'm just going to crack a small biology joke because that's the only joke I probably had in the whole <laughs> speech. I can still smell the, form the formaldehyde from the feral pigs in biology, literally, in boarding school during my first two years there. It was that bad. Thanks a lot. And thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being such a great audience. And thanks, thank, thank you once again. Thank you.